The other trick to that for me is I come from above. I come down and I grab. I come down and I go in. I come down and I go in. I come down and I go in. And it's easy as pop. I mean, it really is easy. And I know some of you, when you when you've realized that and you started, please, you know, it just becomes so easy to play. So, and it, I think it's our obligation too. Is this harvest is such a beautiful instrument that that's how it should look as well. I love my background having. Um, the teachers that I did, someone like Carlos Salcedo, who works so closely with Martha Graham, the whole, we all, you know, the whole element of dance, and it is dancing when you play the harp, I think, it really is, and, um, and the arms show, or can just be so beautiful and so expressive, and you as the player, it can be so effortless, um, if, if you take some, if you use some of these ideas, and at first they seem you know, a little foreign, but once you get it and the breathing opens up and you really start to just, you know, and even with harmonics, you know, when it, um, this is called the Indian smoke signal. Mr. Salcedo used to always say, when you got a harmonic, you say, say thank you to yourself whenever you get a correct harmonic. <laughs> and I said, okay, you're opening a foray, impromptu, you know, yeah, I will, you know, <laughs> I have a lot of thank yous there, well, hopefully. But, um, Whatever it is, again, instead of just, you know, this whatever, just going into, in, going into where they are. And it really does pay off. I, I did a tour for the Chamber Society of Lincoln Center, and I had <laughs> ten harps, different harps I played on. And it was a piece by John Tavener for flute, viola, harp, and voice. <clears throat> None of us liked it very much, but it, only because, well, one of the reasons was it started with 36 harmonics, each movement. And I had 10 different harps I was playing on. So there were three or four movements of so each movement. And the violist and the flutist would be sitting there. 